Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Clio Cloud Conference. I'm going to talk to you all today about developing, examining, and improving law firms' processes. Uh, I'm going to talk a lot today about the big four uh, law firm processes. That would be client intake, case management, document management, and accounting and billing. First, we're going to talk about understanding the importance of processes. I probably don't need to tell anyone in this room why processes are the backbone of your law firm. Client intake is one of the first law firm processes we're going to discuss. In my opinion, probably the single most important process you can set up for your firm. It is the first interaction a client is going to have with your law firm. It's going to set the stage for the entire attorney-client relationship as well as the firm client relationship. When someone first contacts your law firm, whether that's through a phone call or an email, the initial response that they get is going to be what they remember probably most about their entire relationship with your firm. Having a client intake specialist is key to having your law firm have a great process for client intake. Many firms now have a dedicated client intake specialist, but if you don't, you can hire one or you can allocate someone from your current staff. Second to that will be case management. And I'm sure that everyone here also knows the interval and importance of case management for your law firm. Whoever does your client intake may move on to work with case management. They may not. Uh, you may have a case manager. You may assign someone for specific cases to be your case manager. Think of case management as the nerve center of every legal matter that you have in your firm. It dictates how information flows, how tasks are assigned, talking about documentation for each case, going back to client intake, you need to let your clients know how they're going to supply or provide documents to your firm. We used to have people walk in with stacks of documents and we would make copies or scan them in and hand back the, the hard copies. And we no longer have a very different day and age now where everything is handed to us digitally. If you Get the next thing, document management, one of our other key firm process, law firm processes. Um, having encrypted and secure ways to get documents from your clients is very important, and ways to provide documents and information to them in a confidential and secure format. Cybersecurity measures need to be in place to protect sensitive documents and information. Client uh, information needs to be kept confidential and secure. Moving on to billing and accounting, having a dedicated billing and accounting staff person in your firm will help streamline your firm's billing process and tech transparency in your billing and accounting. No one wants surprise invoices. I'm sure almost everyone here, if you've worked in a law firm, has had a client contact your firm to talk about, my invoice is way more than I thought it would be. How did I use all of these hours? So. Do clear itemized billing with your, with your clients and utilize built-in analytics for your firm's software to help them understand it. So now that we've talked about the four, the big four pillars that I like to talk about as the main law firm processes, client intake, case management, document management, and accounting and billing, let's talk about the methodology for examining your firm's current processes. One of the things you can do is flow charting. If you have processes in your law firm that aren't working, that aren't working for you or that you want to examine and improve, do a visual map. This will help you to gain clarity for what is working, what isn't working, what you could improve upon, what you might need to implement, implement or add to your processes. We can also do a SWOT analysis. We have a handout on everyone's, uh, everyone's chair. You have a SWOT analysis handout. SWOT analysis is something that I believe is useful in every area of your life. This is great for a law firm. It's great for your personal life and at work with your law firm processes. 
This is not just a aid, a visual. It's something that can help you to do, make better decisions, to implement, to develop and implement better processes. Um, this is uh, where we pivot and improve. It's intensely practical. Do one of these quarterly, do it biannually, do it annually, even do it monthly if you feel that your law firm needs it. Strengths and weaknesses, these are the internal factors that we have control over. Recognize what we're doing well. Acknowledge areas where we need improvement. So a SWOT analysis is something that you can utilize to examine your processes and try to improve upon them and to help you realize where you need to develop and implement new processes. Opportunities and threats, these are the external factors. Market conditions, competitive pressures, anything that could impact your processes that you may not have control over, but you can control how you handle. You can control how you respond. You can control how you alter or modify or add to your firm's processes. And let's talk about employee feedback. This is another great way to, ex to find out what's working and what's not. Um, who, who better to, to help you to know what processes are working in your firm except for the people who are working day in and day out on those processes? This is the staff. They talk with your clients the most. Support staff in your firm are the ones that are going to interact with clients often more than the attorneys. Then... You can gather feedback from staff. There are many ways that you can do this. One of the things that's easy to do nowadays is an anonymous online survey. If you have a small staff, you may want to do a roundtable discussion. Um, suggestion boxes, this is a very age-old uh, method that we've used throughout history for different areas, but we could use it in a law firm if you'd like. It is really useful to find out what your employees believe is working and is not. Um, you could do a focus group, even within your own firm, where you bring the staff together, do a working lunch, something of that nature, where you can get together and talk about what's working, what's not, what can we improve upon, what can we change, get and take and implement your employees' suggestions. This is the best feedback you can get um, these are the people working day in and day out. These are actionable insights. Your employees provide the best feedback that you can get. You can make micro adjustments that will yield significant gains in efficiency and streamlining your firm's processes. And I want to go back to SWOT analysis. This is something you can also do with your staff, with your current employees, the people that are working with your firm day in and day out. No matter what size firm you have, whether small or large, your staff are the ones that are out there on the front lines, sort of boots on the ground every day working with your clients, with your vendors, with anyone that you're collaborating with. Uh, this is the frontline experience, so to speak. If you want to create more efficient processes, listen to your employees, listen to your support staff, try to implement the things that they suggest, even if it's small suggestions, talk to them and find out where you can make improvements and how you can make that happen. I wanna talk a little more about client intake. This is a process that, again, I believe is the most important in your law firm. Um, the process sets the stage for everything, and you can utilize client relationship management software to help streamline your processes. Hi, everyone. We are at Clio's Cloud Conference. Whatever case management software or client relationship software your firm utilizes, you can use this to help automate. You can use it for intake. Uh, you can have the intake form from your case management software hooked right into your law firm's website. That will go right into your pipeline. This takes away time, energy, and manpower that in years past we've had to do on our own. Uh, if you're not already utilizing client management software, please consider it. This is something that will save you a lot of time, a lot of energy, 
It will help with efficiency and streamlining everything. Um, you can use it as well for document management. So client relationship management software is good for all of the four pillars of law firm processes. Document management, most client uh, relationship management software such as Clio has their own client portal and clients can upload documents securely and safely. You can send documents to your clients securely and safely for e-signature uh, or for review, anything that you need. Billing and accounting, most client relationship management software, Clio included, has billing and accounting built right in so that you can do everything through this one software system. Um, I can't tell you all how many law firms I meet every week that have never used client management relationship software. I'm still shocked by this to this day and it still happens every week. I wish that uh, there were, I wish, I, I don't believe in my lifetime we're going to overcome that. I believe there are always going to be firms that refuse to implement client relationship management software. Um, I'm gonna guess that everyone in this facility has come around because you're here. <laughs> but there are attorneys every day that refuse to use it and want to stay as simplified as possible. What they don't understand is how they are missing so much streamlining efficiency in all of the main uh, law firm processes, as well as client relationships. And we're gonna talk again about methodology for examining current processes. So automation tools. This is something that you can utilize your client relationship management software to pull reports monthly, quarterly, however you need to. See where you're having bottlenecks, see where things are being held up, see what, where cases are spending the most amount of time. Then go to the table with your staff and talk about how you can improve those areas. Your case, your case management software is absolutely the most robust thing in your firm that can help you with all of these things. It can help with scaling your law firm. Automation offers you the option to scale without hiring more in-office staff. It helps with client communication. Almost all case management software now has texting built right into the software and comes with an app so that you can contact clients directly through your case management software. I have now seen uh, many of the firms that I work with, for instance, use their case management software texting. Once the lead comes in and is uh, plugged into the pipeline, they just use their texting to text to set up the consult, someone on their staff. It takes out all of the time that you used to have someone on the phone where someone used to have to get on the phone and everyone here that's worked or had does work or has worked in a law firm knows when you contact a client, what's the first thing they're gonna do? They need to tell you their entire story. Um, they need to tell you everything that brought them to talking to a law firm. Nine times out of 10, the person they're talking to is not the person that needs to hear all of these things. Probably more like 9.9% .9 of times out of 10, right? Um, most of the time, you're just gonna do their intake and then you're passing them on to the next person who may need to know a little more about the case, but still not the person that needs to hear everything about the case usually. So you're saving so many man hours, you're streamlining so much if you will just use automation tools such as case management software for client intake, for scheduling client appointments and consults, for follow-ups, um, almost all, case management software, Clio included, has automated emails. Once you've done a new consult, you can go in and just click all of your preset emails for the follow-up on, thank you for your consult today, here are next steps. You can then uh, plug in tasks for your staff to do the next steps, such as your representation agreement going out to the client. Once the client has signed the representation agreement and paid their, uh, their retainer, what are the next steps from there? Opening the case, getting things moving. Adopting a structured and systematic approach to your law firm processes will always be uh, the best thing you can do to help better and improve your law firm, your success, your client relationships. Flowcharting and documentation, just to touch on this again, 
visualizing, using charts. I'm sure everyone here has probably pulled up and utilized Clio's charts on the front page. I look at this every day of the week. Every morning I open Clio and I look at my charts to see what are my utilization rates? What are my collection rates? What are my client engagement you know, issues? The visual aids are worth a thousand words and helps you easily spot bottlenecks and inefficiencies so that you can work on improving and bettering those. Flow charting, mapping things out, visualizing them, high level overviews, quick insights, intricate detailed charts for deep dives into how to improve your law firm's processes. And standardizing, creating repeatable processes using your client management software or those processes that you have set up in your firm currently and making sure that every staff, every support staff, every person working with your firm is using the same process will give you continuity of quality of business work product these are things that are important to, to keep moving. And SWOT analysis, again, you all have one on your chair. Um, this is something that, again, you can do as management with your staff, with your uh, focus group if you bring one in, whether that's in, in firm or out. Um, you can improve everything with this. And I can't stress enough employee feedback. Uh, I'm sure that there are a lot of support staff in this room. This session is aimed toward uh, support staff, law firm support staff. I hope there are also a lot of attorneys in this room um, because myself, I was an employee at a law firm for many years and I was very fortunate to be at a firm that was really open to hearing what the people working on the front lines with their uh, clients were, had to say in making actionable changes and bettering their processes and improving everything. I can't tell you like what that did for my own career, starting in a firm for many years that had that attitude, really changed everything. I saw the client relationships, I saw the way that their clients trusted them, uh, and I saw the way their employees did. And being one of them, it made a huge difference for me in my career and how I viewed the industry and in how I move forward. Uh, your employees' feedback is absolutely one of the best, if not the best, feedback you can get. Also, talk to your clients. Um, often, your employees will have this feedback for you. Oh, Joe Client said that the intake the intake form online wasn't working. And uh, that is like the third person this week to tell me that they weren't able to get the intake form to submit. These are things that you need to take as feedback and constantly work at improving. Uh, communication is another thing within your firm that you can help to improve with your employees as well as your clients. Many firms are using different platforms now, such as Slack, Teams, Discord, uh, whatever platform you use. I know that our project management has its own sort of little um, chat area, sort of like a Slack, where all of the team can go in there and talk to each other. You can offer support to each other. You're gonna get a lot of feedback just from those communication channels. Um, you can set different rooms, different areas for, for instance, all of the bankruptcy team to go in this room, all of the criminal team to go in this, this room to chat, have a universal one, an open one for everyone that's in the firm to, to chat with each other and talk as well. You can also use your uh, case management software uh, texting app for clients to be able to reach you easier. These are wonderful because everyone in the firm can usually see them, not just the person that they're texting with. Uh, it's a completely game-changing, you know, I feel like, for law firms. So I'm going to open up the floor for questions and comments. I want to, uh, please don't just ask if you have a question. Please talk even if you have a comment or an idea or suggestion. We can all learn from each other's experiences. And also, Jamie is going to be coming around with the microphone Please wait until she gets to you before you start speaking. And if you, because we are recording the session, 
If she gets to you prior to, if you start speaking before she gets to you, I will ask you to uh, just say the question or comment again. And where's Jamie? Here she is. And Is there any plan to, for the calendaring or the scheduling aspect for clients to be able to have two clients schedule at the same time? For example, those of us in mediation practices sometimes need more than one party to coordinate schedules and want to have the ability to have multiple people schedule. And is this a question for Clio specifically? So I guess I should have preempted this uh, session with, I do not work for Clio. I am sorry. <laughs> Um, that is a really great question, and I will ask if there is anyone here in the room with Clio that could answer it, but I'm not going to hold out a lot of hope. Uh, but there is a Clio Success Center at the conference downstairs that you can go in that has new features, and I don't know if any of and I'm sure most people here do know this, but if you don't know this already, something that you suggest that may not already be happening, they can send in to suggest that it be added. I've done that myself. Any other questions, comments, or discussions? Hi there. When it comes to client intake, that initial conversation, there's there's so much more um, AI being offered in whether we use an actual staff member or whether we hire a firm that uses AI or has these, um, con you know, this consistent way of bringing in those leads. Have you seen that the AI or the contracting out be more successful than having a staff member do it? Or what do you recommend? So that is a really, that's a, that's a good question. Very difficult decision to make, I think, for firms. Um, I know I work with many firms who do both. And I can say that I have seen successes with both. Um, I feel like it's definitely moving toward uh, the farming out, so to speak, or outsourcing of that. And I think that the reason for that is most people are becoming virtual, becoming more virtual. And also the post-COVID legal landscape, I think we're seeing a lot more people needing and utilizing legal services. And law firms have become somewhat overwhelmed since returning to normal, so to speak. Um, I can't say that I've seen one work better than the other, but I have seen successes with both. Hi, um, I was wondering, um, so in terms of getting employees to kind of jump on the bandwagon with new law firm processes, particularly on the tech side of things, um, often there's a, a big element of actually training them and answering questions. And if you're the one spearhunting that effort, it can easily become a full-time job. Um, are there any tips that you have for just making that uh, more efficient um, on the side of the person who's kind of trying to encourage. Yes, I do have a lot of good suggestions and thank you for being the person it sounds like making those suggestions. Um, so one of the best suggestions I give to law firms and I have, uh, I meet with law firms on a regular basis. I work with uh, tons of law firms across the country every day, every week. Um, when you're getting new tech implemented, almost all of it will come with training of some sort or resources. Rather than have to keep being the person that they come ask questions to, get everybody signed up for the demos, for the education. Also show them where they can find those videos uh, and the help articles so that they can learn. The best, we all know that the best way we usually learn is by doing. It's by doing the action over and over, day in and day out. So normally, for instance, I often set up firms with a new bankruptcy software system. Um, I do a, I set them up, I have the firm staff set up to do a demo with the education partner at that software system. Then I give them a follow-up Calendly link that's just for if you have additional training, firm training needed. So get everyone set up with the right education, the right resources. And if you set everyone up for success from jump, you'll see that it'll, it'll run a little smoother. It'll go more smoothly. They're still gonna come ask you questions, but you can just remind them where to go get those answers. Adding to that, uh, similarly, like um, getting employee feedback, how do you 
suggest or do you have any social communication tips to like get actual implementable feedback from some uh, support staff? Yeah, I think that using the anonymous surveys or anonymous feedback is probably how you're going to gather the most honest uh, feedback. I know that when you're in a smaller or moderate sized firm, that can still be challenging. People often won't want to give feedback if it's negative. Maybe encourage your staff to give feedback, uh, even if it's negative or, you know, they feel like it's leaning toward negative. It just implore them that you want the constructive feedback, that you need it, that it's going to help them. It's going to help you. It's going to help the firm. It's going to help everyone have greater success. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kyle. Uh, so going back to the client intake process, just one of the things you noted uh, w was just emphasis on using CRM. We at my law firm, we don't we don't use CRM right now. But part of the the issue is that we we actually have like enough work coming in that I don't feel uh, the need to like be pursuing like the local services ads on Google and everything. But I still want to uh, improve the client intake process. It's just more based off of like referral based. Do you have any suggestions that I guess? wouldn't involve CRM or do you still believe that even with that in mind that we're not necessarily like looking to grab as much business as possible that we should be investing in CRM? So there are, so there are a lot of different options with CRM. So you, there are different levels, um, but if your firm chooses not to, and again, I work with firms all the time that choose not to, um, there are still a lot of things you can do. It, you can even utilize Google Forms uh, to help with your intake, and then you can have that, you know, set up to uh, go into a folder for the person in your firm who maybe does the lead callbacks or the initial client engagement. Uh, so as far as suggestions for, you know, streamlining without using case management, there are a lot of different, you know, things that you could do, such as that, using Google Forms, having specific staff that are assigned and always do the same, you know, tasks. Um, what would be the, what, what do you feel like you're having? Do you feel like you're having bottleneck in the intake process? Yeah. I mean, for, it's more, uh, like finding the time to make all the callbacks. It, it, oh. it, so I don't know, maybe it is, uh, kind of more of like the Clio grow route right now. We just use Clio image. I see. Okay. So yeah, adding Clio grow, of course, would be a huge, so you are using case management. You're just not using it for intake. I see what you mean. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to add Clio Grow, um, Clio has a lot of integrations. Uh, so I'm not sure, does your firm use any other uh, document systems, document like Zoho or Zapier or? Just like, oh, Zapier. Yeah. do. Okay. So we have that. Yeah. Then yeah, my strong suggestion to you would be go to the Clio Success Center while you're here, talk to them about that question and how you could maybe get that streamlined. Because while I don't know, because I use everything, I use Clio Grow and Clio Pitch. <laughs> So while I don't know the answer to that, uh, I am sure that some of the integrations could be very helpful. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate everyone's time today and have a great conference. Thank you.